anesthesiologists. What are the best things people have said under the gas? Happened today. Patient has a broken ankle fixed and was coming out of anesthesia when he was being wheeled out. The anesthesiologist accidentally hit the door frame on the way out. Patient, did you just do surgery on my leg? Anesthesiologist, yes you had surgery and are waking up from it. Patient, then why are you running into things? Not an anesthesiologist but was a tech. Had a patient wake up violently. When he came to he said. Sorry. I thought I was a shark. Not an anesthesiologist but my tight laced. Extremely Christian great grandma apparently asked who the f is that ugly son of a b while she was waking up from a surgery. The person she was referring to. Her preacher who stopped by to check up on her. She never lived that one down. The story was even told at her funeral. She was kinda strict but she was a great lady with a great sense of humor. My anesthesiologist tried to calm me down with a joke when I was a little kid being put under. My mom later told me about how I apparently commented on the joke being not at all funny and how I hoped he was more talented as a doctor. I was coming out of general anesthesia after a surgery to repair a broken leg. I woke up in my room with about a dozen very caring, kind friends and relatives who had all come to see that I was okay. I looked around. Saw everyone giving chess about me. Said. F this. Loudly and very clearly. And went right back to sleep. My friends thought it was hilarious. My mom was mortified. Not anesthesia. But patient was heavily sedated in IQ. Nurse gave an enema. Half conscious response. Honey you know I don't like it that way. I had a patient start a joke before surgery and finish it when they woke up without prompting. Not an anesthesiologist. The anesthesiologist that came in to check me over had bright blue teeth and lips. Keep in mind I was high as F. I asked him how Smurfette was last night. I passed out hearing the nurses laughing. Not an anesthesiologist. But my husband kept telling the medical staff after his procedure that it's okay. My wife's a doctor. She knows what you're talking about. I'm a lawyer. After getting my wisdom teeth removed I looked at my mother-in-law and said. How did you get on my rocket ship? My husband went under last year. And once he woke up. By our appearances he was as sober as a church mouse. Walking. Asking serious questions of the doctor. Apparently no issues at all. He remembered the procedure and described it to me in detail. I figured he just never went completely under. He was craving Chinese food. And nothing would do except for buffet. So we headed down and loaded up our first load of plates. Evidently. He actually woke up from the anesthesia at the buffet. As far as he remembers. He was put under and woke up in front of a plate of chicken teriyaki on a stick. When I woke up from surgery. The doctors asked if I wanted anything to eat. You got those crackers that come in packs of six with the cheese? No. We don't have those. Or F man. That's bullsh. We have the peanut butter ones. Though. Ah. Yeah. Bean. I went under for a nasal canal surgery and apparently after the surgery I was holding the nurse's hand and repeating I love you. Don't leave me over and over. In high school I had a reconstructive surgery on my knee as I tore my ACL and meniscus in a sports injury. After the surgery I woke up in post-op. Which was a fairly large room with probably 6 to 7 other patients in beds waiting to become conscious again. I was lying there all groggy and confused when two nurses walked over pushing one of those carts with a computer on it. They stood over me and were typing into the computer when one nurse said to the other in a sort of frantic whisper we've got to plug this thing in or this one is going to die. Full stop. Naturally. Semi-conscious me thought that the thing was me and I started to incoherently yell for the nurses to unplug whatever they needed to in order to find an outlet to keep me alive. Turns out it was the battery on the laptop that was going to die. Apparently the death rate for an ACL repair is pretty low. Two of my fav. Both patients coming out of anesthesia. Am I in hell? I responded no you're not. You're just in recovery. That sounds like something the devil would say. Count backwards from 100 to prove it. Or the one who stroked my unshaved dumb while I was trying to keep him from pulling at his IV. 
and muttered you'd make such a great carpet. I'm an anesthesiologist. I was recently taking care of a 17 year old kid and he looks at me and says dude. I am high as f they almost never remember it afterward. Anesthesiologist here. I was once transporting a patient to the IQ after surgery. In which he got some ketamine. And he was rocking out the entire way there with his air guitar. Last year they were knocking me out for a colonoscopy. It was the third time I had been put under in a year. As such I had a curiosity, I had heard that when they knock you out you are still awake for a while. You just don't remember. So in the spirit of science I proposed a test with the anesthesiologist. When she started the medicine I would begin counting backward. When I would wake up we would compare what I remembered to what she observed. Plunger down 99. 98. 97 I remembered nothing more. Minutes later I awoke. The anesthesiologist espied me and came over quickly. What did you remember she asked. 97. She began laughing. You got down to 7. Not an anesthesiologist. But as I was going under for my shoulder reckon. I realized the surgeons were blasting back in black by ACDC. And I said hey. Is that ACDC? Comma super confused. Thought I lost the plot. And the surgeon comes over me. Face mask and surgical goggles on. Looks me dead in the eye and says of course. What else are we going to rock out to while we operate? One second later I passed out. I have a few. My first is a 17 year old that just got her appendix out. She seemed really stoic and introverted when I first interviewed her but when I was dropping her in the recovery room she went into total bro mode. She keeps saying everything was effing letters. She keeps saying let's party bro and responded to every question with a ref yeah dude. My favorite though was a surgery on a lady in her 80s. She volunteered at the hospital and was a widow. In the recovery room I started hooking up her ECG. This involves attaching some cables to stickers on her up chest. When I reached for them she tried to just pull her gown down and show me her breasts. I said no you don't need to do that. She just said this is so exciting it's been a while since I've been with a man. The nurse just started laughing and I got a little red. She then said it's sure getting hot in here. Sorry it's been a while. I had to leave after that I was way too uncomfortable. My uncle is one and he said someone started singing Phantom of the Opera then immediately started rapping mumbled lines. I broke my hand tumbling once and had to get surgery. He goes to put the mask on my face and says this is oxygen. I cough as the mask goes on. He pulls the mask away and I said I trusted you. You lying f. Full stop. That's the last thing I remember. During my wisdom teeth surgery they were playing music. And Billy Sean comes on. I said glad Michael Jackson could join us and that was the last thing I remember. Nurse anesthetist here. When I was in school I was getting ready to get a lady off to sleep and going through my regular spiel. I had a mask on her face and I said nice big breaths as I pushed proper full. Right before she went out she said thanks. I just had them done. I looked at my preceptor. We looked at the circulator. And we all burst out laughing. I now say slow deep breaths instead. I love telling that story. That lady made all our days. My wife is an anesthesiologist and her best line from a patient is this is better than meth. Mom's a pack you nurse. Basically where the people go to wake up after surgery. Some of the men wake up and hit on the nurses. Lots of kids try to stand up and scream. Best story was the man who actually stood up and proceeded to get his dick out and helicopter with it. Not an anesthesiologist. But when I was in the wear off room after my wisdom teeth removal I started talking about dark doors and mind bees that were tearing me apart from the inside. I recall nothing. My dad works with that stuff. Funniest thing he's heard is hey MR doctor. My ass itches and I'm too high to scratch. Edit. No he didn't help. The dude passed out right after.